What's going on, Flix Talkers? Welcome back to another trailer review. This time, I really had to come back. I know I haven't been back in a while to do a trailer review. It's just gotten so hectic, just with life, but no excuses. I had to come back for Candyman 2020, by the way. And this one, I think, is coming out on Universal Pictures, and I know that it's being co-produced, if not produced, by Mr. Jordan Peele himself. I don't know if he's going to be directing. I really don't know too much about this movie. I know it stars the guy from Aquaman. I don't want to even say his name because I know I'm going to butcher it. So I'll look it up afterwards and I will pronounce it as well as I can. Other than that, I'm going into this blindly, guys. And I'm happy to watch it alongside with you because this was a movie. It's number three trending on YouTube, by the way. So it is getting a lot of traction, over a million views. It dropped earlier this morning, February 27th, 2020. Anyways, back to my nostalgia, guys, for Candyman. It was the early 90s. I want to say 93, 94. This just scared the shit out of me. Through and through, scared the crap out of me, guys. And it was just one of those movies where it had you afraid of walking down the hallway, going in the restroom. And, you know, we'll get into this more of how he is kind of brought to light, how you can bring him into the realm of the real world, our world. So without further ado, let's just get right into Candyman because I think it's a phenomenal lore and I really hope they don't butcher it because there's so many, so many horror remakes. Instead of creating something new, they like to jump back to the past, remake this for a new audience and it could be a hit or miss. In this case, I'm really hoping that it's a hit, guys, especially with Jordan Peele attached. So enough of me talking, let's jump into Candyman. Legend is if you say his name five times while looking in the mirror, he appears in the reflection and kills you. Who would do that? Candyman. 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 A bunch of silly white girls, Candyman. that's who. Candyman. Well, we're still alive. <laughs> Let's go. Trina, you've broken the door. Mmm, the bees, baby, the bees. This isn't funny! Oh, the hook. The infamous hook. I feel really connected to this neighborhood. Cabrini Green. It was the projects. I just moved in around the corner. The old candy factory. I'm an artist. You look up a candy man. He's the monster that's part of this neighborhood. Such a dark, creepy lore producing it, I'm Jordan Peele. Spread the story all about Candyman. The mirror invites you to summon him. You should say his name. I dare you. Candyman. 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 Shh, shh. Don't. <laughs> Don't say that. Candyman. <laughs> I think I made a mistake. Very cool. I brought him back. Candyman isn't real. Come on. Something's Why do they gotta flip the Beyonce lyric, man? He had a purpose for you to be another one of his terrible stories. I guess he found me. I am the writing on the wall. The sweet smell of blood. Oh, the bathroom scene was so gross to me. Ooh. Okay, okay, I'm getting chills now. I'm getting chills. Whew. Okay, so I survived Candyman, guys, and oh my god, I almost didn't. So, definitely like this trailer. Uh, with all Jordan Peele's projects, Get Out, uh, notably Us, I mean, you get the whole flip of the R&B, 
hip hop song that gets thrown, that gets, it just gets twisted and manipulated into this orchestra of horror. And uh, kind of cool on us, but not too cool in this one if I had a dislike for this trailer. So um, the trailer itself looked really, really good. And I gotta go over to the IMDB because I'm just gonna butcher this guy's name. So uh, we have, it looks like it's gonna be playing Candyman. Uh, he plays the character of Anthony McCoy. It is Yaya. Abdul Mateen the second okay forgive me if I butcher your name uh, you get Tiana Paris as Brianna Cat Cartwright yeah I don't see it but I was told that we're also gonna get a cameo from Tony Todd which would be phenomenal guys so yeah 1992 was the original Candyman film so it looks like he awakens Mr. Candyman but this time instead of bringing him out in a physical form it is kind of being sucked in into his own and uh, he's turning into the Candyman. So it was cool that little play where they kind of flipped it where he's walking by a mirror and he sees Candyman as his reflection, not into the real world yet, but kind of because it's him. So uh, you get to see people getting pulled, you know, by an invisible man, you know, no pun to the new movie that comes out this weekend, but you do get to see him pulling on someone's leg and, you know, hooking someone in the back. That's gonna be cool. I think it really, this is really bringing it back to the slasher genre, which in my eyes is way better than anything more paranormal. I know this is kind of paranormal, but you know, the whole hook, it's just more brutal and the whole lore of everything is just so dark and creepy with the bees. It's more real life. And I don't know, at that last final scene where the little boy looks into the door you know, of the restroom, I'm thinking that's gonna be the restroom scene from the original Candyman, which creeped the sh out of me so i'm looking forward to that one guys anyways i don't want to make this too long i give this one a thumbs up let me know in the comments below what you guys thought of Candyman 2020 the trailer uh this is our first look like i said february 27th 2020 and it is expected june 12th 2020 is it gonna be a good summer movie should they have waited till october I like the creepiness of October, guys. Push it back to October or September, you know, that fourth quarter of the movie season, and let's get our chills going. But Summer is okay, too. I do think this is a solid actor. Uh, I don't know too much of his work. It's directed by Nia DaCosta, and it looks like she also did Little Woods from 2018. I did not see it, and a movie called Top Boy from 2019. I did not see it either. So let me know. Are you guys confident in this director's work? that it's gonna be a solid movie. Let me know in the comments below once again if you guys are checking it out. Are you guys excited or does it look like a total <laughs> All right guys, you know what to do. Hit that subscribe and a bell notification for more content like this. Thank you guys so much. And I'm gonna keep the trailers going late or not. I'm gonna jump on the trailer reaction train like I used to for this channel and get interactive with you guys. All right, till next review, I'm gone. Peace.